Hi, I'm Greg Piper with United City Yachts, Canada's Yacht Sales Network. Today I'm going to give you a video tour of a 2011 28-foot bay liner. So let's get this tour started here on the aft swim deck. Now this is an extended platform, so there is plenty of space here to sit, lounge, and have a barbecue. You've got your shore pressure water hookup here. Also a large transom locker. It's where you'll find your battery switches and your shore power hookups. Hot, cold transom shower and a wash down on this boat. Freeboard is excellent on this boat. Nice high sides to the cockpit. And we're entering the cockpit through the transom door right to a wet bar area with pressurized water. Now widen the camera a little bit, have a better look here at the seating area in the back here. Now there is a separate table for this area with its own pedestal. There is nice storage underneath seat here for an additional cooler. Now the engines are obviously located underneath the cockpit at the back here. It's a 350 mag Mercruiser with dual prop Bravo 3 outdrive. Moving forward on the boat, find a nice double wide helm seat for the captain and passenger and it does have a flip up bolster pad helm station on the boats very well laid out all your instruments are well within view got your tilt steering got a nice garmin gps which is a 12 inch screen model also your controls for your stereo and vhf radio very popular on almost any boat of this size is the port side lounge it's a good size offers additional seating for up to three people but also a nice area to lounge out and get some sun the radar arch on this boat is forward facing and supports a full camper top which is also in great condition moving forward to the walkthrough windshield you'll see Three overhead hatches on the bow. Provides plenty of, plenty of light for down below, but also a skylight here found in the dash. That will give ample lighting uh, to the aft cabin on this boat. Now, I'm gonna show you that aft cabin first here, mainly because it's nice to see on a 28 foot boat, a hard door entrance to a, a standing area where you have plenty of storage, but also your main electrical can, uh, uh, panel for your dual hookups and your Westerbeek remote start. Got additional storage in the headboard and you've got a nice size double berth here in the back. Galley on this boat, although compact, has all the features to take you away for a long weekend. Got a single burner alcohol electric stove, hot cold water, microwave, and Dometic refrigeration. Side ports are very bright as well on this boat. And you've got opening ports with screens, and as mentioned before, three overhead hatches. Climate controls are found on the bulkhead here in the main dinette. It's also a convertible dinette, which will provide some more lounging space. Forward berth is offset, basically a double. It includes a set of privacy curtains. Good place to lounge, watch television. The television is will swivel so that uh, everyone in the cabin can watch. There's access to the head area. Got a Jabsco compact manual head. Features a shower. Good, good headroom in there. So it's fully functional. Under the stairs is more storage and a hidden garbage receptacle in the top step. back out in the cockpit here. I should mention this boat also is sitting on its own custom trailer. So that's a tour 
of a 285 Bayliner 2011 model. Now, this boat is offered for sale by United City Yachts, and more details can be found on our website, unitedcityyachts.com. So visit us today for your financing needs and your cross-border services. I'm Greg Piper. Thanks for watching.